And now that I've uh, stitched this up, um, you can see that um, there's a little bit of stretching going on this side here that I'll have to fix by uh, using the relax option and some of this here. And obviously down here as well. Uh, but uh, mostly if you look at it, it's, um, it's getting there. You can see the, the checker maps are looking good. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select the, the, this top bit here that I want to stitch up. So again if I turn this on and bring that around scale it to a level that uh, fits the head. Uh, we'll have to do quite a bit of cleaning up on this by the way. Uh, so I can take that down to this side here. So I'm just gonna pause this for a second. So what I've done here is I've just repositioned that and then pretty much going to stitch it up now. I'm just going to use the middle option. And as you can see that that's pretty much going nicely across now. So um, from what it was before, it's looking much better. Uh, that does mean that our seams are going to be here and uh, on the other side. Um, but because it's going to be hair, it's much easier to kind of put the seams here and get a uh, hide them quite nicely because this area might be hidden with hair or might be hidden with uh, the actual texture itself. So in this method you, you, it's up to you if you want to go all the way up here and create one seam and the other method we created one and this one you have two seams uh, but uh, I like the results usually they tend to work better for me so I usually go for this option. Again it's totally up to you uh, how many seams you would like to have. Uh, again, I'll clean this up a bit more because as you can see there's these bits that are missing here. Um, so I'm going to find these faces and uh, just stitch them up the same way we did this. So if I select that and look for its uh, counterpart which is here. <coughs> and I wonder if this part of the face is okay. So this one's here so I could already separate that and bring it back up here just to make sure that it's scaled nicely to the same size as well so um, okay it's working so I'm just going to pause this again and just fix this in use the same weld um, uh, stitch options uh, I've done uh, that on uh, this side as well and I'm going to kind of repeat the process on this side as well um, I'm going to just stop the video because although I put it on pause it's still um, takes a long time loading so I'm gonna stop this video so when we come back hopefully I'll have this area stitched up. I'm gonna try to stitch this up as well and then I'll show you in the next video where and what I did.